<laughs> How's that cold? I'm really nervous. What do you we all float down here. When you're down here, you'll float too. Okay. <laughs> and we go. <laughs> and we go now. And we cross, 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 cross. Okay. So you all you all make your way across the mine shaft. Yes. Yep. All right. This adventure is a little too genre savvy. <laughs> It's bothering me a little. <laughs> I don't know anything, so this is fun. All right, so That's you. I don't know what you're even talking about. Okay, it is a movie involving Tim Curry as a demonic killer clown, and that's one of the things he says to a small child in order to lure it into. Oh, a it, killer. it, yes. yeah, I did. Oh my god, I didn't think of it with a Scottish accent though, so it totally went over my head. Um, <laughs> Good to know I can disguise references just by adding an accent. <laughs> it totally removes the context. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, so you proceed, uh, and the tunnel that you're following uh, curves into a curves into a, another corkscrew going up, and uh, proceeds forward, and you eventually hit a wall, and the cavern goes left and right. We go right. You go right. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I mark it with a piece of chalk. That you're going right. I just mark the one that we're going down. Okay, uh, and you proceed. You see the tunnel extends further, but you also see that you are at the bottom of a mine shaft. Uh-oh. Do you want to proceed forward, or...? I don't know. I you you also see that there's actually... Uh, Bottoms of mine shafts never... Uh, well, so so you're passing underneath the mine, mine, uh, mine shaft, and you see there are alcoves <laughs> to the left and right, and under the left turn alcove is a rotten backpack. Rotted backpack. Backpack. <laughs> Indeed. We'll return the goblin to replace it. Like, rotted means, like, it's just, like... Like, it's a backpack that has clearly been worn over the years and has now been down here for a while, and it's, it's seen better days, basically. Okay. Like, you ever seen... Like, you've seen that thing where someone, like, has a, like, super big, like, laptop in the bag all the time, and they wear that backpack all the time, and it's starting to, like, fray and shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, when you see the word rotted, I got a little, like... That's fair. Uh... Accio backpack? I'm sorry, wrong word. You don't have mage hand. You are not a wizard. You are the worst right. cleric. Does somebody want to see if there's anything I useful in it? I am a fuck cleric. Just figuring that out. I now. mean... Or, yeah. No, just because there was that, like, journal in the last weird yeah. backpack. There All might right. be more adventure notes. You go right ahead. Alright, so what are you doing? Poke with the sword. Alright, you poke the backpack with your sword, and it did something clinks, but otherwise... Sounds like a clinky stone. You should open it up. Okay, I open it. All right, so you're, are you picking it up, or are you just opening it? I'm just opening it. Okay. Uh, inside, you see uh, a collection of potions along with a scroll. Hmm. Can I... Do any of these potions look familiar to me? Uh, they all have labels on them, but they are labeled in Elvish. Okay. Hey. I'm going to go over gently, softly, and read the labels. All right. Uh... You see there is a potion of climbing, three potions of healing, and a potion of invisibility. Nice. Um, however, when you try to read the scroll, uh, it it just looks like gibberish to you. Do I have any idea what it might be? Uh, roll me arcana. Gibberish. Like, not elvish or elvish gibberish? Mm, four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me look at I was trying to figure out if it was a language or if it was runes. Well, I don't know. That's yeah. why I want to look at it, because I know common and infernal. And I know abyssal, so it doesn't look familiar. That's not I abyssal take a look or at elvish. It. Okay. Um, do I have to roll? Yeah. Mm, what would that be, intelligence or wisdom? Intelligence. Uh, 11. Uh, 11? I mean, you you at least know that usually, like, people who can read spells are the people who study spells, and scrolls often go on spells. Oh, okay, you do spells, don't you? I do a couple, yeah. Can so... I read it? Nope. Okay. Cool. I do divine magic, though, so it would be a good magic. Okay, so I guess we at least pocket it? You could sell it, yeah. Yeah. I mean, is that, like, do you sell that? I'm gonna grab the invisibility... Potion. I grab the health. I grab one of the health potions and I guess give one to Silvar and one to uh yeah, give one to Dan. Okay. I'll grab the climbing potion as well. Okay. No, you have the boots. You don't need the climbing potion. 
We should give the climbing potion to, like, me or Sildar. We shouldn't give it to Sildar, because she's not a, the that play is not having a very good track record of staying alive. No Remember? metagaming! <laughs> um, what do you mean Sildar is having trouble staying alive? <laughs> Sildar is a venerated soldier. Seen many battles. He has lived many decades fighting... 100% survival rate, Sildar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> How old is Sildar supposed to be? Sixty old, something. Right? Yeah. Our cleric is losing it, guys. He's a silver fox. Of course I am. My god left me because okay, I, I get the fox. Douchebag. More charismatic than me, damn. I'm sort of, you smell good? <laughs> what, what haven't you been into besides the cleric? Because it helps I'm really clumsy. I'm not into Dandy when Dandy's not a bear. And she was into I, I raising most, the dead at one point. I'm also mostly just into the goblin as a friend. So, like, it's a platonic. Actually, he's more like my baby at this point. He hugs you. Yeah, Still gooey? Baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a poor little goo baby. Alright, so are you proceeding forward? <laughs> I it's a gummy bear. I, I'm asking, um, are you... Can, what can we see ahead of that? Uh, you can see that the tunnel ends, but there also appears to be an offshoot to the right. Okay. Offshoots always sound good. Let's, Let's check do out it. the offshoot. All right. Um, so you walk down there, and there's another corkscrew that goes up, and uh, you find uh, another door. This one is just plain stone door. With uh, handles. Do we want a thermothergy, the thing open? Just whack it open? Or do yeah. you want to sneak it? Thermothergy. Okay, thermothergy, whack. All right. Boom! The stone door slams open, and you can see into the room that beyond the door is a landing with a short flight of stairs leading down to the floor of a circular room with smooth walls and a 20 foot high ceiling. Colored stone tiles set into the floor form an abstract pattern, and resting in the middle of the room is a bl- brightly glowing gem as big as a fist. Lying next to it is a humanoid skeleton clad in a golden chainmail, one bony hand reaching for the gem. A short sword and a shield rest nearby. Well, that's not great. Um, we could animate it and have him grab the gem. No. But I really should stop the animation. I mean, probably, it wouldn't surprise me if we can't animate it. Is that a thing? Like, if something's already... It wouldn't surprise me if it's already animated. Uh, Does it hurt to try? I should really stop animating things. I said I would. <laughs> There's no willpower from this cleric. <laughs> well, I have willpower because I... I gotta animate, animate, man. I gotta animate real bad. I acknowledged at one point that I should stop animating, and I didn't go to animate saying, it. Is that like when we didn't need zombies, you're like, zombies, and now we need a zombie, and you're like, eh, but maybe no. <laughs> I don't know, guys. That's not really. All right. So, what, what you guys? What you? What you guys doing? Um. So there's pattern on the ground. Can I? Does the pattern look like anything recognizable to me? Just abstract shapes. Abstract pattern. Um. <laughs> the dwarven alphabet. Oh wait, 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 wait. The walls. The walls. We have the potion of climbing. Can we like? Uh, oh. Oh. Wait a minute. I have a better idea. I have the best idea. Does it involve working backwards? No, it involves you being a bird and getting the thing without touching the freaking floor. The freaking floor. I hate floors. Okay, so what are you doing? Um, I am politely suggesting that Dandy, like, become wanna... a burb and grab it so that we don't touch the weird You don't want to Indiana Jones this? I am Indiana Jonesing this. Oh, yes. the Indiana Jones right. and becoming re- a bird. I remember the, that part of the last crusade when Indiana Jones turned into a bird and grabbed the do whole thing. Do we need, like, a bag of sand? <laughs> do we have a rock? You know what? Fine. I will do the thing. Okay. So you turn... What do you, what do, you do? You seem so exhausted. A hawk? Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. I will become... I'm turning into a hawk and I'm attempting to go grab the... Okay, so uh, you turn into a hawk, yeah. and you fly into the room. Is anyone else doing anything? I'm standing up to a... Pulling out a javelin. Okay. I got my sword out. All right, um, so as uh, Dandy flies... I'm fly- holding the door open, like, I'm holding it open. Gotcha. But you're not... Are you inside, or...? I'm literally in the doorway holding it open. Okay. Um, so, to- Dandy, uh, as you approach the gem... Um, the rest of you looking in see as hundreds of crystal spikes sort of 
looking up from the ceiling, you see that there's actually a bunch of holes in there, and these spikes just shoot out. And it almost feels like there's a shift in the room as uh, the skeleton plummets towards the ceiling. Um, Dandy, being in flight, is able to re readjust himself quick enough so that he's not uh, sent flying into the spikes. And the the skeleton just shatters as it as it hits the ceiling. Great. And the gem does not move. And uh, after after a couple seconds, um, you feel that again as the spikes retract, uh, the the armor falls, and Dandy once again has to do a quick to to get back into. That was a great demonstration, for Bird. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I try. So do you want to keep going for that gem, Dandy? Well, I mean, now the skeleton's all shattered. The room already flipped. We know what's gonna happen. I think you can grab it. You're very cocky. Huh? I said you're very cocky. It's not her life. Um, I don't know. I'm teasing you. I, yeah, I will, I will. Attempt. Well, okay, the only other thing that I can think of, the only other thing that I can think of, there's one thing I can think of, is that we try and knock the stone off of what it's on, but I don't know if we have anything heavy enough to throw. Or javelins. Javelins. Oh, yeah. I don't think that'll work. You don't think you can I mean, that? the gem's literally just lying on the ground. Oh, I thought it was on a pedestal. Oh, I thought it was on a pedestal too. Nope. Oh, okay. Right. I misunderstood then. So did I. Well, yeah. I definitely thought we were gonna have to Indiana Jones that. Well, I am going to attempt to swoop down and pick it up. All right. Here, bird. It's a shiny thing. Um, How big is it? You try and grab it. Just sounds like And it. your talons just sort of threw it. Okay. Great. This is a decoy. All right. Well, nobody's dead. <laughs> yeah. When well, the, the skeleton over, is. Wait, yeah, I was gonna say when the room flipped back over, did that chainmail come back down? I don't think oh yeah, it's yeah, worth yeah, going yeah, for. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you should drag that out with you, maybe. With me? I should I drag it. I don't think you can. can you? I am like this big. I'm uh, a burb. <laughs> I am like this big. Yeah, you could be a bigger burb. <laughs> okay. But I. Uh, my bones like are hollow. I'm designed to fly. And catch small rodents to eat. They're small rodents. Um, I can't drag a skeleton covered in shame. So can, like just, okay, okay. can we all just hang off your legs and carry all of us across the room? Anyway, okay, so we're clearly in the wrong place. We have to bird. go back the other way, right? Probably, yeah. Wasn't there another door in here? But... Yeah, there's another door across the way. Oh. We'd um... maybe follow the perimeter of the room. When the spikes came down, we did, did we notice any places that weren't hit by... Nope. Okay. We were not looking that much. We were too busy being like, what the hell, the room flipped upside down. Because um, maybe if we hugged the wall, but we didn't really pay attention to where spikes were coming Well, out. there's a pattern, so I'm guessing that there's, like, places where you can step and places where you... Oh, no, wait, but, like, you just went in and flew in. You didn't even... Step. Touch but anything. maybe it's just, um, like, an invisible wall type Well, thing. I mean, it, you noticed it was when he was, like, going towards the gem that it happened. Okay, so if we don't go near the gem, maybe it won't. Yeah. Because if you think about it, that skeleton made it all know. the way to the gym. Why doesn't the bird try landing on the floor and see what happens? <laughs> Do we really want to kill our bird? No, he would probably, he might still be able to move. So what do you guys want to do? I think the bird should try and land on the perimeter of the room and see if it's possible. Oh, on the perimeter of the room. I thought yeah. you meant just right on the gem. No, nowhere near the gem. Why would I... So you're yelling this to me? Yeah. I'm saying, like, land away from the gem. Try landing. Try landing away from the gem. He can't understand us, can he? He can't. We, can. I, we oh, he can't like, understand us. Every game we go yeah. over this, he can understand us. Right. can talk. Not a I don't turn into a bird <laughs> in mine. I'm still a gnome. Please just tell me what you guys want to do. I don't know why everyone keeps expecting Fine. me to make every decision. I'm, I'm not I'm, expecting. I'm expecting will, someone to make a decision for their character. You know what, I'm just. I'm gonna fly back and land on Gary's shoulder. Oh. Just, okay. There is now a bird on your shoulder. I feel awesome. awesome. I'm, I'm, gonna, gonna, hugging, I'm no. gonna throw a javelin into the room. Okay, you throw a javelin into the room. Anything happen? No. Okay. I'm gonna poke my foot over the door and just tap it on the floor. Nothing okay. happens. Great. I'm gonna in, into the room, hugging the wall. Okay, nothing happens. Great, I'm gonna go over to the door, on okay. the other side, hugging the wall. Okay, you do so. Okay, I follow. Uh, 
Right. Maybe get the door open first. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm opening the door. Okay, you open the door. What can I see through the door? Um, you can see that there is a spiral staircase. Going? Upwards. Cool. Mm, so now we've gotten two different things going upwards. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, but this is the decoy room. I'm not expecting you to get through it. Okay, so I'm going to go into the stairway. Have okay, you follow. step through the doorway? Yep. How are you feeling right now? Not great, probably. Okay. Um, as you step through the door, you take three lightning damage. Is it because I'm not confident? Is that right? Oh, corrupt. She just got shocked, but we should probably go through that door anyway, guys. Yeah. So I just, for hugging the wall, follow, walk through that door. <laughs> okay. How are you feeling? Pretty nice. You take three lightning damage. Okay. You coming? Is the bird still on your shoulder? Yeah, did the bird take damage? Four lightning damage to the bird. Fuck you, bird. Yeah, I'll follow. <laughs> How you feeling? Um, apprehensive. Five lightning damage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing alright. <laughs> we should walk back through that door again, hurt? guys. Because it went so well for us. Huh? I'm kidding. You, I, know, I, I said know. we should uh, walk back through that door. Alcog, surprisingly, like, didn't seem to get shocked at all. He's just hugging you. Uh, <laughs> I guess his goo isn't that conductive. Oh, no, it's because he's filled with love and happiness. That's mm-hmm. probably why. Cheerful little bugger. <laughs> well, then I should have basically just been smited right there. <laughs> all right, so are you, uh, you, the, is the, you're laying the door, like, close behind you? Yeah. Mm, I guess. All right, uh, the door closes, and, uh, you notice that, uh, on this side of the door, the other side was just a plain stone door, but on this one, there is an ornate base relief, uh, depicting a grinning dwarf's face. And are you proceeding up the stairs? Um. That's weird. What's all these dwarf faces? We thought, I mean, it is a mine. Well, does that grinning dwarf face have an opening in it? No. Okay. This one's just, a just, like, carved into the door. The bird can fly up the staircase without touching anything. You need to check it out. I fly up the staircase. Alright, um, as you fly up, uh, you see that there are, there's murals along the way that depicts dwarf miners marching down the stairs in single, fi- single file. And you're able to... Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and you're able to make it to the top of the stairway. It's a door? Um, oh, I don't know. No, it, it's, it opens up uh, to just a chamber. Or not a, just a chamber. Well, I wouldn't know that anyway, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm describing this to Mike. So you see you see that at the beginning, uh, the uh, top of the stairs, um, the cavern still extends past that. You, you see that the basic area around the stairs is a circular chamber that's painted with a mur- mural of marching dwarf miners, the one that continues down the stairs. Um, the dwarves continue their march down the staircase, but at the top of it, you see, uh, facing north, is a life-size statue of a grinning dwarf, his right arm outstretched as though ready to shake your hand. Okay. So what are the rest of you doing? Just hanging out at the bottom of the stairs? I think so, because we don't we know otherwise. To come back. Um, the bird can't talk with the bird. Sucks. But he can fly back down. And... He can fly back down. No, I'm just thinking, like... I don't know, I feel like the mural's gonna, like, pop out. There's gonna be, like, 18,000 frick frackin' dwarves coming down the stairs at us. Right? Maybe, yeah. Am I the only one with this weird suspicion? I didn't have it until you just mentioned it. specific for me? Like, that hadn't occurred to me? Oh, okay, I don't know, there was just something about, like, a bunch of dwarves marching down the stairs and I'm trying to go up. Okay. I take a deep breath, I hug, 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 tightly to my (laughs) chest. And I start walking up the stairs. Okay. You walk up the stairs. Okay. I follow. You, you walk up the stairs. I follow. You walk up the stairs. And you all find yourself... What are you doing, Candy? Just hanging out, flying up there? Yeah, I'm just circling. All right. And again, you find yourself in this circular chamber with the statue of the dwarf. It's right hand extended. Um, and the uh, another path extending off of it. How big is the statue? Dwarf-sized. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was actually dwarf sized or Yes. Do we want to go shake its hand? Oh, <laughs> really? No. Maybe we don't. No? Yeah, no. I feel about desecrating uh, maybe some we'll more than we already have. Something. I'm thinking maybe this is why we need the hammer. Oh, you think that's a golem? I could be. Oh, I didn't think that's what a golem would be like. 
I don't know for sure. Yeah, none of us do. So there's a door? There, uh, there's just a cavern that extends off. Alright, let's go that way. I want to shake his hand. Do you shake his hand? Don't do that. Shake his hand. Shake his hand. Do it. Do it. But like, what if he's okay? Or what if it was just like the cockatrice? Maybe that's all that happened. You can tell it's clearly not like a petrified dwarf. Oh, like okay. it's it's sort of rough enough that it's not like like the ones you saw that were cockatrice induced were clearly like the detail was just astounding. Okay, okay. It's like it was a real I thought it was a reasonable thing to wonder. It no, that's fair. I have notes about that. Um, I should. It's so obvious. Yes, it is. It's up to you. You do what you gotta do. I haven't done anything reckless and terrible this whole dungeon. What do you want to do? That's you shake his hand? Yeah. Alright, roll me a percentile. Never use these. And what's your alignment? Um, I think you're, are you rolling both? What? Yeah. Percentile? So you're rolling both of those. What do you mean? You're rolling your percentile and your hundred? And your ten? Wait, percentile? Yes, you roll and both d10s. Oh, okay. So you're okay. taking, you're getting a number out of a hundred. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, I'm sorry, I was... No, it's fine. Apologize. This I've is never... the first time you've rolled percentile. It's fair to be confused. Oh, no, I'm just a, a good. Okay. Neutral good. Okay. Set. Sure. Seven and ten. Uh, which is the ten? The ten is zero, zero. So she rolled a seven. She rolled a seven? Okay. Um, all right, um, a magic mouth spe- uh appears on the statue, like, right around here, and in Dwarvish, it says, THE GARGOYLE KNOWS THE COMMAND WORD! Cool. And then, only, I guess, Sildar understood that. I'll convey it to the party. And then the mouth closes. The gargoyle knows the command word. Have we seen any gargoyles? Not that I recall. Unless you want to count the faces in the walls. See me, see you? And the uh, the bas relief. What is that? They didn't say anything, though, did it? No, but it was the same face or a oh. face. See through me, see oh. through you. So we go and try to talk to it. Can I go down the stairs? Do you want to want to shake his hand? Oh yeah, you guys could. I mean, it didn't stab me, so take that however you want. Greg, do you feel the need to shake the statue's hand? You and more than one person shake the statue's hand. Place. It's still got a hand. It's still a statue. Extended. I feel like it's gonna kill me. Let's do it. <laughs> I shake its hand. Okay. Roll percentile. Um, that's... What's your what's your alignment? <laughs> oh, I know what his alignment is. That sounded uh forty three. All right. Um, another magic mouth spell appears on it, and again in Dwarven it says, "Do not face the golem without the hammer or the pick." Oh, we have both of those. Nice. Cool. Anyone else want to? I'm going to land on the hand. Nothing happens. I'm going to peck at the head of the statue. (laughs) Nothing happens. I'll do it. All right. Oh, do you want to go first, Mike? He's still a bird. No, I'm (laughs) going to fly away in a hop. 41. Uh, Again, it opens and says, Do not face the golem without the hammer or the pick. Okay, I go back down the stairs. Okay. And I I try saying hello to the door. Nothing happens. Okay. It's probably the other door with the weird mouth. The one that we fed Hug Hug through? Yeah. <laughs> I like that fed. <coughs> so what are you guys doing? I want to go back up the stairs and keep going down that cavern. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, is anyone else doing anything else? Or I'm you, following yeah. behind her. All right. Everyone thought I was gonna die. Suck it, everyone. Um. I'm really curious what my alignment is. Okay. All right. Uh, so you proceed around that uh, corner. Uh, you proceed down that hallway, which leads you to a uh, turn to your left. Um, and you see that, uh, the tunnel extends, uh, to, on the right, down another cavern, or to the left, a mineshaft. Cavern. 
Oh no, let's go toward the mine shaft so we can see what runes are over it. Right? Yeah, sure. Uh, loose ropes hang from the rusted pulleys mounted to the roof of this otherwise empty mine shaft. Can I look down it? You can. I look down. It looks to be about 60 feet deep. Mm. The wooden stay. lift is intact and appears to be sitting on the mm. floor of the shaft. Ominous. Can we try to pull up the... Well, I'm waiting for the oh. translation. Let's see if it says any... No, 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 no rush. I just don't want to do anything until we know if it says anything of use. Like, keep out giant worm. Yeah, like, the one time we're not going to read it is going to be the one time it's like, this pit is filled with bees. <laughs> oh. uh, yes, the bee pit. Fire bees. Dogs with bees in the mouth. Mm. When they deep, bark, they shoot the bees, bees at you. Bees. Uh, deep bees. Torture? Is that a king? Can you spell it? Good spell to me. Mm. Can I spell it? T-O-R-C-H-A. Mm. I say we go back down the cavern. Okay, so you... Head down the cavern? We, yeah. I mark I think one way good. that says mine shaft, one way that says um, goblin door, and one way that says... What? Goblin? What, what is that thing? It was a dwarf. Dwarf door. That was like forever ago. Well, no, that's the... Um, inter- we're at the intersection now. Okay. And okay. then an arrow for the third place we're going. I feel like we're not as lost anymore. We're just going in a direction. There was All right. like a whole other way when we hit that backpack that we didn't go. We just ignored it. And when you first went towards the mineshaft with the it reference. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, so you proceed down the cavern, and again, you see a uh, shaft towards the left and a cavern towards the right. Cavern? Cavern. Oh, ta- okay. <laughs> What'd you think I said? Cavern. <laughs> no, not quite. Go in, we have a drink, put our feet up. Get in. Cavern. Or no, at least you go toward the mine shaft and check it out. There's a rune, isn't there? Yep. You stand at the top of a ten foot wide mine shaft of uncertain depth. Dangling from the, its roof is a rickety lift, a wooden framework with no walls and a floor made of dusty planks, fastened to a system of frayed ropes, iron pulleys, and stone counterweights. Sounds familiar. Can we look down the hole? You can. I look down the hole. It also looks about sixty feet deep. Neat. Can I fly down the hole? Oh, yeah, I forgot that you could do that. Why have you not been... Valnors? Oh, check it out. Check it out. Do it. I don't think you should. Lie down the hole. Okay. Uh, You see two alcoves, uh, a a path, a cavern extending either way, and two alcoves on the other sides, one of which has a recently looted backpack in it. Okay. Well, then. Uh, We were just there. Yep. Fly back up. I land on Gary's shoulder. Shake my head. Okay. Cavern. Okay. Uh, you continue down the cavern. Um, and you hit a curve, and eventually you hit a dead end, uh, end where it splits either to the left or to the right. Do we have feeling stuff? Yeah. I mark the floor with... Right. We go right and, and mark it. X from where we just came down, and an arrow pointing right. X from where you just came down, and an arrow pointing right? God damn. I don't understand your marking system, like, for a damn, but... Well, you can, can we start marking. Can see anything down either way? Just more cavern. Okay. It's just to know that we've been at this intersection of four, basically. Mm. And All which right. paths we've gone down, which ones we haven't, when we come across it again. If we ever go back, we're leaving other stuff far behind us. Well, okay. yes, but we might loop back um, around again. So, you're heading right. Um, you continue down the cavern um, until you <sighs> find a place. Uh, you hit a end where you see uh, there is an alcove to the left uh, raised up and a uh, path extending down the right. I'll take a look at the alcove. There appears to be a ten-foot diameter ball of solid obsidian obsid- sitting there. That stuff's expensive, isn't well, that's it? that's something. That's big and heavy. Um, so, it's worth, doesn't matter. Mm, what you know what the infinity stone looks like? Yeah, do we know what the forever stone is made of? Probably not something that you know is, like, already a substance. Okay. Oh, well, I didn't know if we just thought it was obsidian and it's gonna open up and be a giant eyeball of a dragon for all that. I mean, you know, I suppose you good. could think that. <laughs> <laughs> this just looks like a big ball of carved, carved obsidian. Okay, I approach it. Okay. I walk around it. Uh, I mean, you can't really fit around it. It's sort of taking up the entire... Remember, this thing is as wide as the tunnels are. 
Oh, so if you want to look over it, you can fly up, see what's on the other side, right? Or is it ten foot high ceilings? Oh, 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 it's blocking the path. I mean, it's just set into an alcove. You can see oh. the wall behind it. Speaking of Indiana Jones, <laughs> the other thing goes down. Uh, yes, the other cavern extends the opposite way that the alcove is. Okay, so who's really fast? Not me. Well, maybe actually. Yeah, I do have a cheetah. I do too. Uh, I just have a sneaking suspicion that we're gonna walk and it's gonna chase us. No. Uh, no, that's a valid point. Yeah, I kind of have that same suspicion. But I also feel like that's probably the right way to go. Because things always get worse right before you get something cool. Yeah, but it might have been expecting us to be coming up. <sighs> Usually they don't chase you. Usually they go surprise and make you turn around. So we go down. Um, yeah, I set off at a jog. Okay, so you're all running, or one of you is running, or... I don't know, uh, I'm staying at top. Okay, so, so you're staying back, you're running, what are you doing? I guess I'm just following. Okay, and you are... Striving with masculine determinism down the... Uh, Fine. I, determination. I stride to then. Okay. Um, everyone, um, so you can you continue walking, and you notice that uh, the uh, tunnel begins to corkscrew downwards... And are you, I'm assuming you're still going. Yep. Uh, until you reach um, towards the end of a first corkscrew, where you hear a rumbling. And everyone, please roll initiative. Oh, a rumbling coming from running? forward us or behind us? I. What? Was the rumbling coming from behind us? From or? behind you. So, oh, really? you hear a rumbling. So, we're not going to even die from an. From an <laughs> And there is a giant ball behind you. Wow. It's almost like you went downhill after seeing a giant ball that was clearly going to come after you. Yeah. yeah um, like Trow, what do you want to do? Keep running. Okay. What's your speed? 35. Mm. Mm. You're faster mm. than me? Mm. Oh, you're an elf. Is that why? Okay. I get plus five for elf. Uh, Sildar. I uh, can't get out of the corridor? No, it takes up the entire corridor. Okay. I'll so I mentioned. Okay, what's your speed? 30. Okay. Carrion, what do you do? Me and the goo baby keep jogging. Okay. 30, by the way. Okay. And Dandy. I fly with gusto. Uh, how fast do you fly? 60 feet. 60 feet? Wow, okay. We need the bird. <laughs> okay. I think bears can run almost as fast as horses. A sec. Well, I have to find the right sheet. Let's hope a boulder only moves at 25. Huh? Let's hope a boulder only moves at 25. <laughs> I should have just stayed behind. <laughs> Pretty much. For me, you know who I am? No, no, you're all about to get run over by a giant boulder. Really? It moves ten spaces. I don't know what that means. Hundred feet. Mm -hmm. uh, four, 50, I said that this might happen, and then everybody just followed me at a run. I was. I should have held back. Uh, oh, um, I just. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, as I pause to find the right friggin' sheet. If we pause the amount that we pause, you can pause a little bit to find the right sheet. Yeah. Maybe running you all over so that's enough that I, I can... I mean, do we want to keep going? You seem kind of dead, Adele. Oh, don't worry about it. But it's not. Ah, okay. Um, it's hard because you just don't want to be... You don't seem to like want to do anything. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I am losing capacity. But no, that's also, what I'm saying. We're also about to die by boulder. All right, uh, everyone roll me a dexterity check, please. I got advantage. Yeah, oh, nice. that is unfortunate. That is a five. Nine. <laughs> I have a two. <laughs> Eighteen. Uh, everyone except for uh, Carrion takes uh, 19 damage and falls prone. Uh, Carrion, you manage to duck slightly out of the way, but it still takes up the whole freaking cave and manage to 
smash a, you a bit as it rolls by, and you only take ten damage. Well, I'm not dead. I, also I figured you... that would kill us, and it didn't. There may still be time. Um, everyone does also have health potions now, like because I true, yeah. every like because I had some, I gave one to you. Well, once we get out of here, I'll throw the healing again. Yeah, I yeah. can do some healing too. Well, let's get out of the path of the boulder in well, case it's gone it now. It went past. Gone. Maybe it has a maybe, maybe it has a younger brother. Maybe it's like a repeating thing. It gets to the end and drops down a hole and it comes back again and drops down a hole. And... Um, how how many hit points was that again? Uh, 19. nineteen. Well, do we want to head back the way that we came from, or do we? No, want to we want to keep forward? going forward now. I think. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, I mean, well, worst comes to worst, something else comes down the. Shoot. Yeah, but it moved at 100, so even if we move twice at 30, we've only moved 60. So it's going to catch us in, like, a second. Uh, I need to check if there's a run mechanic real quick. I thought there was, but I didn't check it. Uh, I should probably check that. I mean, you all probably get hit regardless. I was like, wait a second, I was in my animal form. I, I get to burn to those points. Nice. Fuck one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> so you take it too. Yeah. I figured they'd punish you somehow for the awesomeness of being able to fly and avoid shit. Uh, Next time, I clearly need to be a better bird. Didn't die, so do you still want to? Giant eagle. That's up to Evan if he wants to keep going. Oh, keep going. I know he wanted to get this all done in one sitting. Yeah. And she wasn't counting on us living this long. Yeah. I don't know how to feel about that. Felt so I had more faith in you? Or that you had way less faith in us. Okay. Dash, you can double your movement speed. So we still all get hit. Yes, you still all get hit, but you can manage to make it well, 60 feet. The hawk doesn't get the hit. The hawk doesn't get hit. Uh, the hawk gets hit. Oh? The boulder is moving the boulder. feet. But he moves 60. Yes, and the boulder rolls, and then rolls again. Okay. Uh, so he gets hit at one point. Yes. Um, so dandy. One, uh, two, three. Okay, so that's where Dandy is. Um, you guys are all where Dandy was, except for Trowel, who was one space further. Okay, uh, so... If he moves 120 everything, though, then the boulder rolling at 100 wouldn't catch him, or would it? The boulder has two initiatives. Oh, okay. There's two boulders, for sure. No, um, but... Or it's looping around, or it's a spirit boulder, I don't know. Uh, so you hear a rumbling from behind you again. Um, but now it's your turn. What do you all do? Uh, trial. I'm gonna keep dashing. Okay. I'm running back toward it. One, two, three. Seriously? I'm I dashing mean, to the for the end. Is there an end? I'm hoping so. Okay, fine. I'm following the freaking out. Five, six, seven. Trial's Still there. holding the goob goblin. Yeah, you managed to protect Hug Hug last time. Oh, that's good. He goes, hey, and hugs you. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> Blah. I'm never gonna be able to get this armor thing again. <laughs> um, Trowel, you're dashing. Yeah. Uh, Sildar. Oh, dashing. All right, Carrion. Running along, running along. And Dandy. Dashing. All right, what's your speed? Fifty. Right now. Is the speed now? All right, Dandy, you can see that um at the end of this hallway, just about twenty feet down from where you are, there is uh. A, another alcove, this one empty, um, and uh, there is also a cavern that extends uh, about just ten feet out of reach of you uh, that extends right. And then, right. it's not your turn yet. Yeah. And the rest of you, um, you see that hot on your heels is a giant boulder. Yep. Giant obsidian ball. I, th I figured yeah. that it would just keep coming. Trowel. Dash. You are able to get out. I get the hell out. Sildar. Dash. You are able to get out. Karen. Riding along. You're able to get out. And Dandy. Dash. You are able to get out, and you see as the boulder smashes into the wall behind you, disappears, and you hear rumbling again. Interesting. I... These dwarves clearly had too much time on their hands. Do we want to sit here for ten minutes? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm going lay on hands. Oh, well, he was healing us, I think. We, okay, we could do both. Well, yeah, I don't think this will cure us all the way, so yeah, we can do both. Okay. Um, everyone get back 20. It actually did pretty good. Yeah, that was nice. I did, I got good rolls. I'm almost at full. <laughs> Alright, uh, so you guys are, what, proceeding do that down time, that hallway, I assume? Why only one more time? I'm out of spice. 
Oh. Well, actually, I can do it at a higher level, so I can do it three more times. I said I assume you guys are continuing down the hallway. Yeah. Yes, we know not going is. back down the murder door. Probably not doing that. Alright, as you, uh, you're walking down, and you see it turns to the right, and uh, then uh, as you're reaching uh, this sort of U-turn in the mines, you hear the, um, that the tunnel forms this U-shape as it curves back towards the north, and as you're walking by at sort of the, the southernmost point on the curve, you can hear this this moaning sound coming from somewhere beyond the wall. Hmm. Well, sound <laughs> Sounds zombie. Vaguely animal like okay. Just, okay. Speaking from the Just letting you know. Okay. Do you proceed forward? It's yep. coming from behind the wall. Yes. Keep going. Okay. You proceed forward and you find yourself looking at two mine shafts. Great. Where we just came from, my right murder. No. Okay. Uh look down. They look about 30 feet deep. Great. Both of them I look down? Um, well, you can't get to the other one because it's extended past uh, if you want to try and cross the planks. Oh, it's like last time. Okay. You also see that the one further from you is missing its planks. Okay. Well, we can cross. No! 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 Shit. And I think maybe we call this evening for right now and return to the Minds of Madness next week. As you look up, and there are some familiar runes. Which ones are there? This is the one where he fell through, and then there was the stupid gelatinous goo blob. The moans we're hearing is the stupid zombie caught in the jello cube. No, the zombie is liquefied. It's stuck in the jello cube. No, <laughs> he told me it liquefied. Because. It's a skeleton, I don't know. It's a zombie skeleton. Point, point being, I think we're at a good stopping point for this evening. Even though this evening was not originally designed with a stopping point in mind. Oh. <laughs> and uh, we can meet back again uh, another week to okay, hopefully complete the Minds of Madness. Are we doing better than you thought we would? I mean, you thought we might just die right away. Well, that's that's true. You you are surviving longer. But is We're that like just because really, we're wasting time? You know, I mean, you've you've gotten through. More rooms than I thought you would. So probably rooms we didn't need to get through. And you've made some good choices, some poor choices too. But I feel like you've been improving as it's going on, and you, and I, I sort of vowed to myself that I would try not to handhold too much through this dungeon, and you guys have been doing decently about that. Like I think I only really had to pull your reins maybe once. I've been doing what a lot of that? leaping before I look, and uh, I, I'm kind of surprised I'm still alive. Mostly because people have been tying ropes around me. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been at least in we talk about becoming down less evil. Hallway? I had a feeling that walking backward was the answer right away, but I didn't think we wanted to get down the hallway. Well, we like we were at the point where we had run out of options. There was the hallway, or there was the wormhole. There's also the stupid door with the nail on it. We couldn't get that open. We've probably been on the other side of it by this point. I'm so... I don't know. But I'm saying, at that point, the only options that appeared to be left to us was that and the wormhole. Did you want to try the wormhole? <laughs> Alright. Something we could always try also next time. Did you want to go rescue Gilly? Just go, like, <laughs> flop ourselves into where the obsidian rock goes to and see if we walk oh, to where the obsidian ourself. rock Alright, I... I, I... Good night, guys. This is this has been fun.